today we go exploring ancient legends within the remote Northern California wilderness. Two incredible legends of beings that once were known to inhabit the entire continent, until slowly over time their presence became forgotten. It wasn't until recent settlers began encroaching into this remote region that they themselves began to encounter the stories for themselves. Do any of these ancient tales hold credence in today's modern world? Or are they simply myths of ages past? Take a journey with me down the road less traveled into the forgotten landscape of Northern California. Countless legends of hairy beast-like creatures have long perpetuated through Native American lore. These indigenous stories have become most predominant within California than anywhere else, encompassing a wide array of sightings and held beliefs around this creature. Cave paintings representing the hairy man can still be found within California archaeological sites. The highest concentration of these stories can be further pinpointed to the Northern California wilderness, which now boasts the most sightings than anywhere else in the world. Known by countless local indigenous names, this creature once largely inhabited the remote wilderness of the area. Legends passed down tell of a pre-human giant that was once considered an abomination by the creator after it dissipated the natural ways of life. This creature invoked fear into the hearts of many in ancient times, as it was believed he would kidnap and eat humans alive. But these are all just legends, right? I now found myself traveling through three reservations in Northern California in search of clues regarding this prehistoric creature commonly known as Bigfoot. I, along with my good friend Danny, decided to go exploring remote areas that were known as Bigfoot hotspots. As we began to enter the vast California wilderness, we decided to check out the infamous Bigfoot Museum in Willow Creek, just outside the Hoopa Reservation. Here, several original and replica Bigfoot casts can be found along with countless valuable historical information surrounding the fabled creature within the area. While we were here, we decided to pick up a Bigfoot sightings map along with books regarding detailed encounters within the area. The area we already chose to camp at was chosen due to its proximity to Bluff Creek, where the infamous Patterson footage was filmed in 1967. It was along this very creek that the most controversial footage of Bigfoot was ever filmed, in part due to luck. Many have deemed it as an elaborate hoax, however, there has been very little information to actually debunk the footage in its entirety. There have been several sightings within this isolated lake itself. Several accounts make mention of strange sounds during the night and footprints being found around the lake itself. One park employee who lived periodically within the camp itself stated that Bigfoot was known to roam the campground around 3 a.m. However, during the summer months, as people began to flock on vacation, Bigfoot sightings were known to reduce greatly. While we were here, we decided to kayak around the lake and explore the other side as it was difficult to gain access on foot. We're in the isolated area of uh, Fish Lake between the Klamath River and Bluff Creek where the infamous Patterson footage was shot. Uh, we're just a few miles from the actual Yurok Reservation where several legends state that an ancient race of um, people once existed before the Native Americans. So supposedly around 3 to 3.30 a.m. is when this area 
uh, becomes the hotbed of Bigfoot activity. Uh, and Bigfoot is known to enter the different areas of the campground. And there have been several reports of shouts and screams and, and footprints located throughout the actual lake itself during the night. Uh, so let's go see what we can find. Despite our best efforts, we found nothing to indicate a Bigfoot presence within the area. We experienced nothing throughout the night, and upon awakening, we decided to go explore a little bit of Bluff Creek nearby. It was at this point in time we decided to shift our focus to the Wagas, an ancient race of mystical beings that once lived along the Klamath River, and who now, according to some, live inside Mount Shasta.